All right, um, it's just an image thing. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, presence of dangerous, uh, marine life is mine. Uh, the only black one is black and white, and that's, uh, no swimming. So, so I'm he, pretty sure mine will be a lot worse. But mine's pure black. That mean that's unknown. No one knows where it is. Then all of a sudden, Cthulhu arises. Actually, you know what? There is one more black one. Shoot. Sp uh, spotting conditions pure. I still think mine wins that one. You win. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I should. I could have got away from Cthulhu one if he didn't set you up. <laughs> True. Uh, let's go for. I'll go for other things again. <laughs> Even though we've played this game quite a lot, I can still have. Well, what do you want? Smart, bold, enough. charm? Yeah, let's go for some boldness, I think. Spooky, spooky house. And you just high five a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, like, hey! No, I'm look, you do, I'll... look, you see the mark, it's a high five. Mm. Now, nah, off yeah. that enough to wave. <laughs> that day, you explore the Haunted Mansion's basement only to find it has a sub basement. And that sub basement is full of haunted chairs and staircase to a sub sub basement. And that sub sub basement yeah, is haunt it's a haunted <laughs> wine cellar. The sub 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 basement is haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine, they serve haunted spirits. Ha. The sub basement is to the 10th power is a subway. You eat a foot long uh, runaban and continue travels. You eventually check a uh, walkthrough and find that the haunted manor can spawn an infinite amount of sub basements. You only made it as far as the 89th level, which is a dom sub leather room. You get plus two bonus from the horrors you witness there. You stumble upon the very, uh, surrounded by an odd looking group, an orc with a lute strung across his back, an elf with his bow, and an haggard dwarven cleric and some other, uh, clinches? Clinches. Yeah, clinches, fair enough. Also, odd da uh, very is repeatedly hitting herself in the head. It takes you to the moment you realise that she's calling for Hex to come out. There you are! Where did you disappear to? Sorry, I was in your, uh, ribcage seeing it. Seeing if you, uh, seeing if I could use it to uh, c cut uh, strips of the chilled pepper uh, into uh, confetti, and then, I, and then I got lost in your kidney. I um, well, okay, whatever. Look, I gathered this group of the, uh, valiant heroes, each of them with their own skill set, quirky personality, uh, personality, and dark backstory. Cool. Why? What do you mean why? You asked me to. You said to organize a party. Honestly, I've never liked you more than I did in that one moment. When I realized you were finally taking an interest in the things I enjoy and that you got excited, were getting excited to raid a dungeon. Raid a dungeon? No, very. When I said party, I mean party. Like pizza, confetti, music, drinks and games. Can't you just have a normal fun without needing to go into a dark maze-like dungeon and kill monsters? Gosh! I feel like we're never going to truly understand each other. You are uh, one of the very, just like the rest of your troopy friends. I was really trying to bond. I mean, we're, we're, we're already bonded in that you're a curse that attra attached itself to me. But I mean the spiritual kind. A very seems generally disappointed, and you can't have that. Time to turn this party into a party party. So Hex will be happy, and a very will be also happy. In a, in a moment of genius, you realize exactly what party member would make the perfect party goer. Ned, Me. The, ne Ned <laughs> the Necromancer. Did you know he, da he doubles as a par powerful baker? If he can raise the dead, he can surely raise a cake. A bard, always a bard. <laughs> My problem is I'll choose the bard, even though I like the necromancer answer. I don't care. I would, I would, I'm saying with you, I would go the bard. But just because I think I know this game, I'm going to choose necromancer. I... And I'm going to fail. Choose necromancer. <laughs> choose it. So bold. So good at this game. <laughs> Whoa, Ned, is that true? I mean, of course it's true. That's why I wanted you to come back, <laughs> come back for Hex. 
uh, but for the rest of the party, fun, pizza, party, not adventure party, uh, maybe you could tell us more about that while you bake. Do you oh, sure. Ned says, while looking a little embarrassed to be put on the spot. Well, I say that uh, Lynch and Leaven, Academy for Necromancers, uh, Art slash Extrusion Bakery. That's actually amazing. How did you know you we wanted to be a necromancer and a baker? Oh, well, I actually just wanted to be a baker. Ned says, uh, beginning to make <laughs> make a cake. Sorry, I always just had the ability to raise the dead. Uh, I help with a, a lot of a stupid, stupidest. Uh, 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 ah, you know what I mean. Stupidus, um, initial, initial, oh, for Pete's sake. I used to my uh, a passion for a baker to open up a pie shop. But when I brought my childhood sweetheart back from, uh, uh, back to life and my magic prevented me from touching her, I decided to, uh, formally study necromancy. And once I raised my level up, I was able to uh, revive her. In the most traditional formal ceremony, which allowed us to kiss. We got married and lived happily ever after. Well, who knew an interesting life story you had? Uh, you have. Which, uh, which interests uh, uh, outside of venturing and necromancy. I always thought I would make a good TV show. But... If I only told you my whole story because I uh, would, would have been heartbreaking to cut up it off before, I definitely found a way to get together with my with the love of my life. Cake's done. You can stop oversharing now. Here, Hex. Eat some of this delicious cake. Has anyone else been hiding any secret backstory slash hobbies? The cl cleric timidly steps forward. Well, even <laughs> though I know for my divine powers and love of healing, what I really want to do is play basketball. The monk barbarian raises his hand. Although I know how my skills and hard to hurt car out, I've always immersed pretty in a ballet and double dutch gem propping. I can, only, I can just imagine your team speak members speaking right now. That's all I can imagine. <laughs> do you notice something? <laughs> do you notice something here, uh, Avery? That the monk barbarian's jump rope is actually some guy's intestines. <laughs> no worry. Is that they all have uh, other interests too. And look, none of them are any less amazing adventures. After all, they were people you called the way to the party, right? I guess you're right. Maybe we can turn this party party into a chance for me to. Dare I say it? Pick up a new hobby. Love it. Pink al uh, lid. Pink Ali al uh, LED. Since it was your idea to ask Ned, um, do you think you can help me figure out um uh, what I like? You heroically managed not to make an in induendo. <laughs> that's like you, Daniel. That's for sure. And instead, smile and go around with a very trying everything from ballet to Bead working to uh, billiards. You try so many different things that you end you end up gaining plus two smarts, plus one creativity, a handmade scarf, and a pretty decent finger painting. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me get quick. Oh. <laughs> smarts, creativity, and fun. So this is probably the most even we probably ever had a game. I'm gonna go for creativity. <laughs> yes, that they I all... would joke on me water! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that day all the scouts made a uh, braid chain as team building exercise. You learn all sorts of new ways to braid hair. But the person braiding your hair actually ties an infinite knot in your head. There's no way to untie it. You can see into the infinity. But right before coach gives you the worst haircut of your life, you see how all your friends will die. It's useful in helping you eliminate Dave Davison, the doomed dear person, from being a romantic prospect. You also watch every Marvel movie that will ever be released. 
You're getting pushed to crazy from wit witnessing so many plot twists. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god! Okay, so I'll do Joy. Did you have Coach? I have narrator, um, coach, and Navari, you have three there as well. Yeah. You duck into another co of coach's safety lectures so you can sit behind your friends and smell their hair. Pop quiz, everyone! Suppose you're trapped in the woods during a forest fire. How do you survive? Easy. I switched to one of the 11 fire resistant um, armors I set, so I carry with me of all times. Why survive when you can thrive? I'd invite some friends and organize a fire tasting. <laughs> fire tasting? I'd run out of the woods, like, away from the fire? Nice try, Joy, but the fire's vision is based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about that is, is that with the wind pressure, it can actually seem like that. <laughs> You'll lead it right to you. I know it sounds a bit like Damien there, but Jesus, this is the only thing I can think of at the time. What? Yeah. Fire can't see me! Jeez. I don't know why I tried to do uh, Damien. She, she's trying to, she's trying to be, she's trying to be um, Delilah. <laughs> Not as long as you stand perfectly still. I don't uh, mean to complain, but none of those survival scenarios particularly relevant to me. An ancient curse that can't die. Get any better ones. Uh, don't worry, Hex. I've got one that will sure be relevant to all of you. Okay, let's say hypothetically that the year 3000 and Chuck East Cheese Entertainment has su uh, sup supplanted. Supplanted. Supplant? Su supplant? Supplant? Supplanted, I think. Supplanted? All the world's yeah. governments. I'm listening. Chuck E. Cheese himself has not seen that person for years. He communicates with the populace through ever-present screens and watches them with camera eyes of a million animatronic servants. The worst thing is I'm getting five nights for Freddy M. scenes here. <laughs> Pizza has become the world's dominant religion, and children are forced to work in the fun mines, harvesting tickets from rigged arcade machines to trade for food and shelter. You're being tricked by, uh, tracked by Munch's, uh, Mike, uh, Munch's make believe band. An arm of the Chuck E. Cheesians secret police. Because today is your birthday and they want to sing to you. What do you do? This is somehow even dumber than the whole fire thing. I'm leaving. Really, Joy? You're gonna leave all those hip, uh, hypothetical people to die? Come on, Joy. Say uh, and say yes to the hypothetical lives if we amuse me. Joy's conflicted. My laws in it for the laws and the varies in it for the XP, but none of them have any idea how to solve this. It's up to you to suggest the solution. UT strength. Pull everyone's tickets together to buy the revolutionary <laughs> giraffe plush. If the world is one big fast food restaurant, there's only one solution. <gasps> Release the Karen. <laughs> Release the cat! Oh my fucking god! I'm just—I think he's a cracker there for a second, and then my brain caught up. <laughs> release the Karen! Release the Karen! Oh, no, Andrew, don't release the Karen! You do not know what you are holding onto this. Onto this. You know world. that big red, uh, big red button um, image where the finger just slowly goes down the present. <laughs> I don't know. That's bald. The Karen what? was bald. Well. You would release the current against me? You're mad! You're all mad! <laughs> That's a- don't do this! No force in the world can control a Karen. Her white privilege is too strong. <laughs> what a- what good is uh, defeating Chuckie's empire if in the process we become the very thing we hate? <laughs> Listen to these nerds! Trafficking it with an occult powers to help me kick kills off is basically all I do. Oh, you're not gonna kill the Chuck E. Cheese in Empire, you tell her. 
You're gonna ask to speak to its manager. We described the necessary rituals, the sprinkling of essential oils, the offerings of Botox injections <laughs> and compliments. Uh, it's not compliments or compl compliments. I think it's compliments. And the sacrifice of a live millennial. Okay, the witcher is complete. Roll to summon Kraken. Karen, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change to a DD game now. <laughs> you whip out your survival dice and roll a natural 20. Coach opens up his survival handbook and finds the appropriate page. Karen is summoned. She deals 12d6 morale damage to everyone who are lucky enough to interact with her. She is immune to frost, lightning, and reasonable debate. She tells Chucky e. Cheese that his pizza is cold and she shouldn't have to pay for it. Critical hit! Chucky e. Chuck realized that he's. All he's ever wanted was to do was bring joy to children. This animatronic pizza uh, dystopia was just an unfortunate side effect. As Chucky, as Charles's entertainment cheese walks away from the burning ruins of his former empire, he realizes today is a birthday, the birthday of a new world. The end. You survived, and to celebrate, you all got cold greasy pizza. My favorite kind. Hey, that's a. It was pretty hot, and how uh, you roleplay something a dark entity that uh, you could barely control. Nice work, <laughs> Karen. This situation was too stupid, even for me, uh, to uh, even uh, to uh, uh, for me to even comprehend. Which is why I'm grateful we had the, the true <laughs> idiot like you on our side. Yes, I'm a true idiot. Fuck the pizza. Where's my XP? Where Where's is my XP? my XP? You're right, it's the only next be on the pizza receipt and give it to Avery. Everyone's happy you're getting plus two smiles plus one fun. <laughs> <laughs> Choose a food, I'm choosing pizza! Just for that one um, All it is. Players want to decide on which food would destroy uh, prehistoric humans' digestive systems if brought back to life. Obviously, Pick you one. <laughs> Obviously pizza, Gre too greasy. Pick you up. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a night anyway. Uh, do I want to go for love interest or do I want to go try? Well, Andrew, if you sit on the bench, I will sit there with you. Deal. You sit on a log by yourself. Some nights are f for flirting with your friends and endless bid for romance and or sex. Some nights are for spreading ridiculous rumours and for looking in the chaos. But tonight, it seems, it is sitting with your friends. The question is, will your friends see it that way too? We will see next time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm do 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 do. That's just it. I go on to next. I go on to next to you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm looking at the. That you image. sit with Natsum, your sexiest friend, who is also a playable character. Oh, that image is too good. Anyway. You two have fun flipping through the last year's Spooky High Year book. You laugh at the awkward class photos, read all the weird signatures from your other friends. You get to the most likely two section and Natsume asks you sexily, Hey pink <laughs> LED, just for fun, which super lact- wait, does that say lactive? Super lactive, do you think, think I, could I could earn? earn? Super lactive, uh. do you think I could earn? Ooh, oh I love these! Oh, super uh, so, uh, You rap battle someone to death. <laughs> Most likely to discover a new colour. <laughs> Most likely to win an Olympic beer pong. Most likely to get drunk and accidentally time travel. <laughs> Most likely to. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh, I hate this, I hate this. Um, you know what? Experiment bottom corner. You know which, which one. This one. You know, no, you know so which one. Kiss you on the cheek. Clearly. Nice. Natsumi is, is sexually smitten by your compliment and has a great, and you have a great night together. Later, alone in your tent, you find yourself doodling pink LED and Natsume heart in your old yearbook. But it would be crazy to even consider dating Natsume. Right? Natsumi. Uh, I think it's Natsumi, to be honest, but... Uh, well, for now, we're voting Natsumi as the most likely leader game, plus five charm, and you gain plus one and everything for yourself. Woo! Actually, apart from charm. Um, I'm not the next one. Oh my god. Oh Bring no, no. Take a gamble. That weekend you visit good pal Juan. One, he knows a thing or two about getting wasted. 
Well, we already know this. Just. Well, no, well, no. Look who's here. I was just experimenting with these drinks here. I was about to throw them away when I had a feeling you reckless enough to give them a try, right? What about this one? Huh? Huh? Oh, what about this one? What about this one? No idea how I got the recipe right. Want to try it? Otherwise, you can always have the mystery box. I'm actually going with the mystery box since we already had this one last time. Yeah, I took. No, I don't think this is the one you're thinking of. I don't think it's the one you think. The mystery box, so bother you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds whatsoever. Give lost, but goodbye. Well, hello, Pink Alid. <laughs> AP Blood, no idea if I got the recipe right. Do you want to try it? Or otherwise, you can always have the mystery box. Fuck it, I'll be AP Blood. Okay, good for you. Yeah, no, Tolly, I was testing your compensations. You pass and your prize is to drink. You chose. Anyway, we'll go with the AP Blood. The AP is not exactly the drink, but an experiment. I try to take the blood from all your friends using magic means and I translate. In the spell works right, you should absorb a bit of each stuff from everyone. Attack and Stormy? Really? I just managed to capture your actual Stormy and experiment with it. Hope you have a good memory since this fucker will take some vision away from you! Do you want to take a screen screenshot? Or do you I, wanna... I, need, I need to remember that. Wait, I'm the uh, orange one. Bottom I one. So I need fun. I need to go get fun next time around. You need charm. I need to go and get charm. Hope you can stomach that! Happy trails! <laughs> Everyone choose a fictional character. Uh, one, the magic Latino cat of horror. Uh, Broly. Please on the side base which character would likely share a tent with. You would least, uh, least like to share. You least like to share a tent with for a week. Well, I, I don't like. To, I wouldn't want to share a tent with this cat. It's horrible. I'm allergic to a cat. And Broly would clearly take up all the fucking room. I'd rather stay in the tent with Bro Broly for a week. Just don't piss him off. True. <laughs> so, me win? Yeah, you would. <laughs> um, give me one second before we continue. I need to just quickly sort something out. Aye, I'll fair be enough. Like two minutes, maybe. <laughs> Dark and stormy, really? <laughs> oh my god. 